Hi, I'm Taryn Lane. I work for Hepburn Wind, um, Australia's first community-owned wind farm, and these are our two turbines, Gale and Gusto. So our founder, Pierre Bernard, um, hailed from Denmark and he knew that that was the mainstream model over in Denmark for wind farms, was this community ownership model. So he had the vision that our local community here could build two turbines and own it and operate it ourselves. So he had that original idea in 2005. Since then there's been numerous community volunteers that have contributed to our project and now we've been operating since June 2011. So we are a 2,000 per person member cooperative and over 55% of the members are local to the, to the area and every year we generate enough power for over 2,000 homes, so more than enough for our, for our local area. Community engagement was really pivotal to building awareness and getting people involved in the project and you know, building awareness, education, taking people to other wind farms to see how they worked, having farmers market stalls, uh, doing sort of articles in our local papers. So we did a lot of communication work and education work in our local area. It was incredibly difficult to be the pioneering project of, of its kind, but we along the way really recorded our intellectual property um, and have developed our wind farm as a model for other communities to follow. The key thing that we want to inspire people around is that you can have a vision for how to generate you know, clean electricity locally. So you can have a vision, you can build uh, an energy project of this scale um, and have it benefit your community as well. So the biggest lesson would be around uh, having you know, resilience locally and being persistent in how you all come together and work to deliver a project like this. One of the, the things that I always really enjoy is that a project like this can build community, it can strengthen community, it can give you a, a reason to get your community together and work on a project together um, and one that, that you know, will have benefits for decades to come.